the um, prototype of a bass drum foot pedal that uses magnets instead of a spring to return them out. Um, you may have seen the prototype I put out there on YouTube that was made out of Tinker Toys, just to kind of explain the principle. Uh, this one gets a little bit closer. Um, you'll notice that the mallet is upside down. And the only reason that is, I'm, I'm having to use another prototype of a pedal uh, that I just needed a frame like that to mount these magnets on. This is a very crude prototype. Um, this magnet right here is on the axis and the mallet goes. It moves away from the magnetic field. Then there's a stationary magnet right under it. The magnets are facing each other uh, to attract instead of repel and the magnets are not, obviously not touching, but are very, very close. So this, like I said, this is a very crude prototype. Um, after some refinements are made for different size magnets, uh, these are one inch cubes, by the way, with a hole through it. Uh, you, after some more R&D, uh, someone might want to use bigger magnets, probably not smaller magnets, but also obviously have uh, it adjustable so that you can uh, move the magnet closer or further away to kind of adjust that way, kind of like you do a spring. Um, and that's basically it right there. Uh, one of the advantages to this design is um, you can either use a chain or a direct linkage between the mallet and the pedal because all the power is on the axle itself. There's a guy, there's another the other guy in North Carolina who actually manufactures a magnetic pedal and he's got a great pedal. Um, he uses um, repelling magnets in the footboard um, which makes him have to use direct linkage. It just kind of cut, you know, cuts down on some of your options. But I was putting this out here and um, since I can't afford to build one, I'm just hoping one of the American companies decides they would do that. Um, I'm using Drum Workshop's um, sprocket here because I make I think they make really good stuff. Hopefully, Drum Workshop would jump on this idea, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, and um, it's a cool idea. Um, let me know what you think.